Tonsa Wild Kelly here, and today we're back with the Fruitcake Fan Fiction. Today we're reading Chapter 6, so let's continue. Wh what? England stuttered, slamming his fist down onto the table. Wh why is Zeland in the hospital? Angelter, I'll tell you later. Zeland doesn't have much longer. Zeland cooed into the phone, feeling a tear down his own cheek. Without a thought, England grabbed his bag along with his keys, running out the door. Sealand! he yelled, although no one could hear him. The drive to the hospital was long and risky, but he got there. Sealand? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. He rested his head on the bed, where he could see Peter Kirkland, the one who wanted to be a country so badly, struggling to breathe. I'm so sorry. But, brother Sealand struggled, making England cry harder. I'm sorry. I've been the worst brother anyone could ask for. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, he hiccuped, feeling a hand on his head. N no. Sealand coughed. You've taught me a lot. I love you. He sniffled, now crying as well. Please, don't let me die. Sealand. England responded, hugging the little boy. I don't know what to do. Mr. England, the nurse looked at him, as if asking him to step out of the room. He obeyed her, her orders, leaving the rest of the countries to care for the little country. I'm sorry to say, but there may not be a chance. Wh what do you mean? He grabbed her shoulders, now eyes wide. He may not regenerate. He's not a country or a city. So he doesn't stand chance. She snapped at him. I I'll make him a city. The city of Zealand. Yeah, that's it. His hands fumbled with the phone in his pocket. Hello, yes. I would like to speak to the Prime Minister. Hello, sir. Y yes, I have a request. Please, please. I'm begging you. Make Zealand a city. Yes, you can. I don't care. You don't have a paper on you right now. My little brother is dying. You can't let him die. He's all I got. He heard nothing at the end of the line, causing him to break down. I, I can't let him go. Please. England gripped his shoulders, guiding him back inside the room. Zealand, is there anything you want to tell us? America calmly said, not too loud for once. Brother... I can't do this. I can't die, Seelan cried, and the, and the line on his monitor made a loud noise, singling, signaling his heart was stopping. He glared at England, eyes filled with tears. This is your fault! Nurses, nurses and doctors ran in, pulling the entire bed out of the room, struggling to get his heart rate, heart rate up. One week later, England wasn't to be seen, wasn't to be seen, gone. Angel there, come out, Franz told them again. Go away, England sobbed. Ow. Franz raised his eyebrow and kicked open the door, seeing England with the knife from a few weeks before, bundled in his hand, cuts jagged across his body. Hey, England, Franz yelled, rushing over to him finally got the courage. I did it. England smirked, laying his head down on the ground. Franz ripped the shirt he was wearing, drying the, his wounds. Why would you do this? Franz cried, hugging his sore body. I wanted to die. I wanted to suffer for what I did to Sealand. He responded, shaking violently. Don't die. Please. I love you. Well... That was a dramatic turn of events. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go think of my corner now. Uh, see you guys next time. Bye.